have um, some of cool features to enable us to do so. Um, so uh, we'll be do a lot of demos tonight because uh, we just have like uh, 30, 40 minutes. We, we hope so. Um, okay, um, what we want to aim tonight is first, of course, we want to get our applications um, up and running in AWS, accessible from the rest of the world, and of course, we want to some kind of configuration injections or what we uh, say as environment variables injection using we're using code build because um, yeah, um, yeah I want to do as much as work inside AWS just because uh, in terms of speed so we don't uh, pass a lot of work into another third party solutions and we want to and I, I use code deploy for deployment to AWS so it will um, eliminate a lot of headaches here and if we still have enough time probably we have uh, we will demo a little bit about the automatic rollback so if somehow our deployment have failures so or our code deploy uh, have a me cool mechanism named um, automatic rollback is very cool and also the last as a bonus we're um, playing a little bit with AWS Lambda to send uh, notifications about our deployment status is it um, success or failure and keep us updated right okay so this is what what um, we possibly do with um, it, uh, deployment in AWS um, yeah we have a repository in github and it's very very standard very simple and straightforward i'm pretty sure you guys have familiar with this um, pipeline we have a uh, git uh, first we clone the latest version of uh, our software and then we um, uh, you know inject some uh, configurations and framework variable and everything and 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 decide if this this um, shows code should be deployed to the which environment is it deploy, uh, development or staging or production or so and we do uh, some tests if pass then we um, perform the deployment and uh, each uh, stage will be a trigger AWS Lambda to do something we, 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 we ask them to do like um, send notification to Slack is very important so we always uh, update what happening in the background and <clears throat> we can also um, you know like a trigger or something for the third applica third party applications like for example if you are using Sentry so Sentry have a feature named release so we have uh, so we can actually um, send notification to Sentry if uh, hey I, I, I have released the new version so please mark something in your um, application so and most most uh, one of the most important thing is we want to keep all of our deployment and build uh, activities always recorded in our uh, own database so we have this records every deployment every pipeline run every build every deployment everything who run the deployment how the result and how how much time it takes we want to record everything so we, we can analyze it so it's all um, now in um, Yoji, we are um, we on the journey into this um, complex um, things. Oops. Um, however, uh, I don't think that tonight we can demo all of this. So we try to do a lot of simple things, like um, uh, I mentioned earlier that we will first we clone the latest version of our source base code base and do some configuration injections. If um, everything is okay, then to the code deploy, um, to the deployment, to the EC2 instances, and if we have some enough time, we will um, trigger some AWS Lambda functions to do a select notifications. Uh, hopefully, we can do all of this. All right. So first, um, this is tools. For, uh, do you have um, a little bit experience with code pipeline? Eh, sorry, eh, yeah, code pipeline. Okay, cool. Uh, code deploy. Ah, perfect. All right. Okay. Code pipeline is actually is not is not a 
rocket science to school plan is actually a wrapper so um, it do nothing but link all the solutions uh, for example uh, we have a code build to build um, applications to get the artifact and we do um, we pass some of the job to the third party solutions like Jenkins and everything and finally we do deployment and everything so this this code pipeline wrap it all um, so this is some of what you can get from uh, code pipeline I won't uh, walk you through one by one this I'm sure this is not a very fancy things you guys are familiar with it and this is <coughs> what it um, uh, visualize so actually the the main point is in on every stage code pipeline has an output which is um, stored in, in the uh, sorry Amazon S3 um, storage uh, bucket then uh, basically the output from a stage will be become the input from the next stage so the output from the first stage which is source could be um, is could be called by any stage so it's not it's not sequential it's not always sequential process but the output from this could be um, called by the all of the stages as long as inside the same pipeline process okay as it's called deploys <coughs> very cool tools so the de deployment we can always monitor what happening now and the the the, the, the most of the cool features of this uh, tools is it can be uh, it support blue green deployment so it's very cool um, so let's say we have uh, 10 or 12 or a hundred of instances so it's for completely zero downtime in every deployment so if we are um, you know um, emphasizing the the CICD uh, like a spirit DevOps spirit that we have to continuous deployment continuous deployment uh, I can imagine that we have for example for um, development page uh, development states for example we have two or three servers there so one uh, we perform three or four or seven times of deployment per day then we, we so imagine if if we uh, if our system will be down we, we uh, experience downtime for a couple of seconds just a couple of seconds on every downtime uh, for every deployment will be a lot of downtime uh, per day so we don't want that it's a code deploy uh, came to rescue all right that's it for my presentation because now time or demo right uh, so okay let's go okay okay, okay. now um, first of all of course we need to oh Okay, make sure that is my personal account. Okay. <laughs> All right. Okay, I've um, preparing. I've prepared one instance for this demo purpose. All right. So I start the instance and this um, the uh, one thing in AWS is some part of this process that we have to wait there's some process of deferred we have to uh, wait a couple of minutes like um, spawn the new instance or do um, deployment process and everything some kind of that we have to wait okay um, uh, anyway if you have a questions just along the way um, raise your hand or make some noise or attract my attention it's okay um, while we're waiting <laughs> Because sometimes we can be so frustrating. All right. Okay, let's try to do SSH if this is running. There. SSH. You want to. Make a phone bigger. Sorry? Make a Ah, correct. Sorry, sorry. Yep, yep, yep. Let me try. Ah, big enough. Okay, <laughs> cool. All right. Mm. Mm. All right. Mm. 
Okay, we uh Oops. Okay, so we whoosh. It's okay. Let be oh no. Alright. Alright, uh seems our um instance is ready. Um the most important thing when we preparing this instance is this for if we want to use um Code deploy. We have to make sure that the we have to make sure that our instance have um, enough permission to do that. So basically, the permission will be just this instance have to um, have enough permission to pull data from S3. That's it. S3 bucket. No, no other permissions needed. All right. Um, our instance is fine, then let's see our code base, all right, okay, um, okay, okay, so we're using this, um, I've prepared some sim very, very simple applications, um, so, oops, all right. so this, this kind of hello world uh, application, so, <coughs> For just for um, demo purposes, cannot expect too much. Um, okay, this is to print uh, just to return the JSON with message. Hello, world. let's test it first. Okay, test test all right. <coughs> Oof. What is it? Small. Oh no, oh no, oh no. Mix. Alright. So let me check, let me try in my local host. Is it working fine? Okay, cool. So uh, this is uh, what? Oh, too small. Sorry. Beep, 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 beep. Alright. Now, okay. This is what we add. What our simple application will do? What is it? Okay. Okay. Cool. Okay. Thank you, Baidu. So this is what we want to deploy. This application um, is very simple. This JSON file to print hello world. All right. Um, so. Wow! 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 That's that's okay. Never mind. All right, so it's already on my public repository here. That's it, okay. Oh, so fun. Okay, sorry, sorry. All right, um, that's always oh, better. Okay. That's, that's, are you hearing me now? Can you hear me? No problem? Yeah, yeah. All right. Okay, switch off, how to switch this off. <laughs> okay, it's okay, fine. All right, <clears throat> um, let's see a little bit. All right, this is uh, my public repository. So, actually, this is all. Oh, all right, so big, big, big. Oops, how to make it bigger? Beep, 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 beep. All right. Okay, so it's uh, on my public part story so what we want what we are going to do is every time we merge or push something in the master then we want to our pipeline somehow trigger and do the deployment in the end of the pipeline right so this is the spirits of the continuous deployment so without any manual um, activities involved right <clears throat> to, for doing that of course first we will need our deployer, we call code deploy. Let's prepare our code deploy. Oopsie. Applications. Uh, or probably I'll just delete this and start this over again. Uh, what? How to delete this? Okay. That's the, the name application and here. 
ていうのは。はい。All right. So, this,、uh, previously I have、uh, spawned an instance. Let's see. In the tag, we have、uh, two tags. The, 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 more, the one that we have to put more attention is to deployment group. This is,、um, we can actually edit and put everything there, right? So we have a deployment group tag with the value is development. For example, this is our development environment. And, right, let's get back to go deploy. Get started.、Uh, install. Custom. Skip all through, right? Okay, the custom will be Elixir demo. It's on on premise, EC2 or on premises. We have two options there. There's a AWS Lambda, which we are going to use today. A deployment group. Okay, so this is the difference between the application name and the deployment group name. was The application name is actually the code base. So this. This is what were our code source and everything. And the deployment group name could be、um, our environment, like for example, development, staging, production, and everything. So, this actually all the environment came from the same code base, right? So, for example, let's say、um, deployment group name、uh, Elixir Dev, right? Okay, this is a,、uh, another cool part is in place. Deployment means we deploy the application into the, our、um, predefined EC2 instance. So there is no any EC2 spawn or creations or things. So actually, this deployed to the existing EC2. While blue green deployment is the, the, the first step, what could deploy it to is just they will copy the entire infrastructure into the new one. So this, the, the, the current running infrastructure will as is. Will handle traffic as it is to be, and all the deployment happen in this new environment. So af after everything is okay, after this,、um, we make sure that this is okay, run well, there is no error occurred, and everything. Then the, the, the code deploy will switch the traffic from the old to the new. And after wait for a while, if we make sure that everything is okay, then the, the, the old infrastructure will be teared down. This is very cool. It's completely zero downtime. All right? So, this is how we choose to which, info,、uh, to which EC2 instances we, we want to deploy our applications. So, this is our text. Actually, we, if you remember, we want to deploy to all the instances, EC2 instances, with the tag、uh, name of the tag. The key is development group and the value is development. So, this code deploy will search for the,、uh, into the ent our entire EC2 instances. With,、um, the, we have this tag, right? Okay. Oops, sorry. So it detects there is one active instance. It's very cool. This is our instances. This is our instance. And this is、uh, only if we activate a load balancing, which we don't have it. And this is a strategy. So, for example, we have two or three instances there. Actually, Code Deploy、um, offers、um, by default there are three methods like,、um, or we want to deploy all at once, like three of, our, three of our instances all deployment at once,、um, with、uh, consequences with a、uh, downtime because we do all at the same time, or half. If we have four, there's two. Um, switch off and deployment, and two and so this is not zero downtime or one by one. This is will take more time because、uh, imagine if we have 10 or 20 instances, they have they want they will deploy one by one, right? This is、uh, because we just have one instance, there is no much difference. All right, oh, wait, this is deploy. Right. Okay,、uh, let's create one. Okay, cool. We have now、um, a code deploy、um, active. And 
how to make uh, how to trigger the deployment. Actually, uh, this code deploy could be pull the data from either uh, S3 bucket or GitHub. Uh, but uh, unfortunately, this uh, tonight I, we don't have enough time to uh, demo it one by one. So let's just go to code pipeline and put this code deploy inside on, right? So very okay. All right. Oh, no pipeline. Let's get started. Let's create it straight away. Um, uh, Elixir pipeline. Right, source will be GitHub. Uh, okay, so I want to connect to my GitHub account. Elixir demo, right. It's auto detects, very cool. It's okay. Okay. So we want to, after we change this push or merge into my master branch, it will trigger this pipeline. All right. So use MAO to check product release change. Build, uh, no build at a time. This is the moment of truth. Okay. Deployment provider, we choose AWS code deploy. Right, application name. It's um, auto detect. So our deployment group. Okay, cool. Oops. Right. Role name. It actually, if we just create role, it will automatically create create the role who needed by um, this code pipeline. Right. Next step. Uh, we will take a look a little bit. Okay, seems good. Okay, let's create. Let's just create. All right. Actually, this is okay. So, how to trigger this pipeline? Actually, there there are two ways for now. First is um, like we said earlier, we push something or we put something or merge something in the our master branch. Or the second is just to push this release change button. But enough because here. I we just pull for source change through. So after we create this pipeline, so it's automatically triggered somehow. This is very cool. So let's wait. Actually, right. Okay. Um, actually, the, this is auto naming. So it's actually, we, we, we can uh, eventually change this uh, stage name later. Okay, now it looks like our deployment. Okay, this is this deployment will fail because okay uh, will fail because for de code deploy to be deployed to all the EC2 instances, we need oh some code first. We need this app. Ah, it's too small. Okay. Oop. Right. We have to put this um, script in our root directory of our applications. So code deploy will know this sequence how um, what you should do in our target EC2 instances. Right. So first, right. So let's just put this file into our root directory. A new file. Right. Save. Right, right, and for install we will use this script install. So this is the very simple way to get the uh, Elixir password, uh, Elixir dependency, and do all of necessary installment. Let's just put in the proper. What is it? Install, All right? And based on this 
groups. Which one? We need start. Okay, this is how we start the our Alex replications. I've instead of we type it manually, I've prepared it. All right. I know we probably have uh, several ways to install, to start applications, but let's use this way. Uh, what is it? Stop. Not that need this at the moment. Save. Install. Spec. Good. Script. Good. All right. Script. Install. Start. Okay. Cool. Seems that we have all of need. Okay, let's see if, okay, it's failed. Now, we have all we need. Let's do, good, commit in M, code deploy, integrations. Oh, all right. Come on. Okay, let's see if this automatically trigger our pipeline and successfully um, deployed. Okay. It's coming, it's coming, please. <laughs> All right. Okay, not yet. All right. Oh, not yet. Come on. Come on. Okay. Any questions while we're waiting? Maybe take a couple of seconds. No? Um, how do you guys deploy your application to AWS? Using this kind of solutions or so? No? No, no productions usage? Okay, okay, meanwhile, it's automatic triggered. Oh, thank God. Okay, cloud formation is actually, um, uh, it designed for another purpose, like, like a provision solve the entire, uh, our infrastructure in AWS. So it's not, uh, I don't know if, if we, we can, actually we can, we can integrate between this pipeline and cloud formations, but, uh, Yes, we have to check, but for my, I I think it will be, it will take a little bit more times to prepare the entire new um, spawn the new inst EC2 instances and do all deployment and make sure all things are okay and everything and kill the old applications. I know, but, but still we have to check. This is for my assumptions. It will probably take lo a bit longer time. All right. Yeah, okay. To the previous person. Okay, okay. Good idea, sir. Yes, thank you very much. Okay, so, okay. Yeah. How, do you often, how often do you uh, set up this uh, code pipeline? How, how often? How often? Uh, you mean how often I update the, the config, uh, this pipeline? The, the pipeline? Actually, not. This is, we set it once and we can do it forever. <laughs> Oops, another failure, why? We can check. All right, so, few lux. Cool, we have to remove this first, so. Home Elixir app. Okay, let's, yeah, this is what I'm talking to you previously that code pipeline and code deploy, um, another cool thing is the, the logs 
or if failures happen, we can just know immediately. And actually, we know what happened, right? So we can just push retry, <coughs> right? Please. Let's check on the deployment part. Okay, so it's in progress, the deployment. Ah, it's for all instances. Okay, it's kind of succeed. Nice. All right, mm, let's check. All right, it's kind of our deployment success. Let's see. Okay. Moment of truth. Oops. Is there on our EC2 instances? Okay. Okay. Actually, do not celebrate yet. But we want to test our um, our theory. If we, we change something in our code base and we push it to the master branch, and it automatically triggers the pipeline. Otherwise, this is will be useless, right? Okay. So let's. Change something. It's somewhere around here, right here. Okay, so we can. Uh, okay, name. For example, oh, what is it? Uh, let's say this Singapore. All right. Okay. We add one key value in our JSON, and get get commit. Values. Oops. Get push. Up. Oh. Right. Without any manual interventions, it must be automatically triggered the pipeline and deployment. Hopefully. <laughs> All right. Let's get back to our pipeline. Please. Okay, takes a couple of seconds. Okay, any other questions? Yeah, yes, please, sir. Uh, so, what happens now is that you, uh, I want to check whether during the deployment everything is compiled from the scratch, like all the dependencies are get once again, or whether it reuses the previous directories. So I'm asking because, for example, in my case, to, to, if I release the dependencies and the build directory and I want to deploy everything, it takes around 10 minutes, right? Because it needs to fetch all the, uh, from the hex, all the dependencies and compile and then compile the application. Why, if I reuse the, the dependencies from the previous deployment, it will take around a minute? So I wanted to check how it works in this case. Okay. Thank you. It's perfect questions. Um, actually, for this, this kind of solutions, we do a lot of things again and over again in each easy to instances. However, we can, okay, so basically it used the previous dependency and all the and file necessary. But of course, we can do something like mix clean or something. So if, we, if actually we, we, we try, uh, we make a change on our code base who which, sorry, uh, which involving this, this kind of um, dependency and everything, it will be um, try to reinstall the dependency accordingly. So actually, by default, it will be used, it, sorry, it will use the previous dependencies. Otherwise, we, uh, we, we, we install things or we change things related to these dependencies, All right? So, okay. So it's take a couple of minutes. So please.
Let's check. Oh, it's success. Okay, success. Let's try. Let's see if it already changed. Oh, thank God. Okay. <laughs> That's actually success. So now, now every, every time we make change and push it in the master branch, it's automatically triggered the pipeline and, and do the necessary deployment. And I oh know it's already eight plus. We now finish. Um, actually, we can take the Q&A while I'm working and wait for another, right? Actually, one, one extra. Hey, uh, how about you guys? You want to keep it going? or? Oh, is it waiting? OK, um, here, uh, actually. Ah, it's okay. It's okay. Let's let's not make him waiting. Um, uh, actually, I have two more topics. One is how to uh, inject the configurations by the code build, and the second will be the AWS Lambda to send notifications and do some other tasks. But unfortunately, our time is not uh, sufficient. So so I'm so sorry. But of course, we 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 can have another discussions and a lot of conversation after this uh, stage. And of course, uh, you can find me in any other channel with andika.kurniantoro.com. You can, it's in Bahasa Indonesia, I'm sorry. But in the bottom of this page, we, I have all of my um, identity, right? So ping me anytime. Um, I have. E my email well, my email is Andika. It's just very simple. A N A N D I K A at yog dot com. So um, we can uh, start cool discussions and conversation over there. And I think we have uh, your LinkedIn profile. Super cool. Yes, LinkedIn yeah. will be fine. And thank you. Yeah, cool. <laughs> thank you very much. Very quickly for five minutes, if you guys have really? All right. So we got our speaker who's going to speak about.